Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you're all well. I hope isolation isn't ruining your life just yet. So I wanted to share with you how I take self-portraits for my Instagram in self-isolation. It's got a ring to it. Before we dive into this video, I've got something to share with you. I've got a... <laughs> so it all just got too much the other day. My hair was just too heavy and have I shaved it all off? Yeah. <laughs> I repeat, I have no hair. I can't, I can't lie. Like, that's a bit, that's a bit of me. More importantly, the video. So I'm gonna be teaching you a few ways that I take all of my Instagram photos on my own whilst you're stuck in your house. Let's get straight into it. So for the first shoot, I've picked out kind of a cool looking outfit, I can't lie. We've got some brown cords that are actually my dad's, some white socks, and a baggy white t-shirt from ASOS Man. Basically what we're doing here is we're using a very simple background very simple setup, a bed sheet, a chair, a tripod and a camera, and yourself. That combined with a bit of natural lighting, I mean, you are just gonna live your best life here. So here's me trying to put up this bed sheet in my back garden. I'm like self taping it to the window at this point. Um, I'm not sure if that's the best idea. Also, this is one of my favorite t-shirts because I mean, look at the print on the back. It is just so cool. It's like a massive pop of orange. So as you can see here, I'm tilting the chair slightly more towards the sunlight because I know for a fact that's gonna cast some cool shadows on my face. For this, I kind of want it to look like I haven't really tried. I want it to look like one of those shoots that are very sort of minimal and that you just kind of put a camera there, switched it on and away you go. Kind of like a Daniel Simmons kind of vibe. If you haven't seen his work, I'll leave some of his images on the screen right now. So the camera I use and have used for all of these shoots is the Canon 600D. Now I'm fully aware that this is a very old camera, but it stood the test of time, it served me well. And my tripod is from Jessup's. I managed to get this quite cheaply online. It's really important if you're shooting outside to make sure the white balance is correct and it suits your skin tone. There's more things to do in the edit later on and like who's got time for that. And here here are the final photos from that shoot. I'm super happy with these. It's got that sort of vintage minimal vibe which I was looking for. I really like the orange for some reason. I think it just looks kind of cool. And all the tones sort of work in quite nicely together. I mean, is this gonna be making an appearance on my Instagram? Absolutely. So the second shoot, I'm just gonna jump in right now and just ask if you are enjoying the video so far, then leave a massive like down below and subscribe for more content just like this. Right, carry on, carry on with the video. So the second shoot I decided to do in my kitchen because because uh, I feel like kitchens are so interesting. I feel like there's so much in a kitchen that goes unnoticed. So many details that show your personality and I think they're just interesting places. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I wanted to make this accessible for you guys who are also doing this at home. So I wanted to kind of create like a dazed magazine sort of, you know, very sort of stark graphic. I don't know how to quite verbalize that. So again, because we love a prop, I decided to get a carton of milk out because why the hell not? I've shaved off all my hair so I may as well drink from the carton, right? I'm a, I'm a bad boy. Ugh, that's disgusting. What was really nice about shooting in this location was that, that my kitchen is quite colorful, there's quite a few different details going on, so I wanted to contrast that with an all black outfit. So I wore some cargo trousers, again my white socks, and a long sleeve champion t-shirt. And then to give that sort of like badass sort of vibe, I thought I'd just jump on the kitchen counter and swig away at my milk because that's the sort of edgy, edgy moment we're going for at the moment. That's the sort of vibe we're after. And these were the final shots. Again, I'm super, super happy with the way these turns out. I don't know if these sort of fit the theme of my Instagram totally. Um, they are slightly different to what I usually post, but actually I really like them and I think they work well as they are. They've definitely got the sort of stark contrast between the black clothing and the colours of the actual kitchen, uh, which I really, really like. And yeah, I think it's quite a quite an edgy shot, if you ask me. Uh, and the final shoot, right. So I wanted to take this one to the bathroom. <laughs> I noticed in the house that we had a vase full of fake flowers and they look quite real. So I thought I'd try and get those involved as well. And I think it turned out quite well. The reason why I wanted to do this in the bathroom was because right where the bath is, there's a massive, massive source of natural lighting, which I mean, as you can probably see by this video, is your best friend. If you haven't got access to like high spec lighting equipment, then 
the sunlight is just as good. And for this image, I wanted to create literally myself and a very, very plain white background behind me, which is basically what the bathroom is. So here you can see I've basically sat in the bathtub with some flowers and put them against my face. And I mean, it is as simple as that. <laughs> I started the shoot off without actually wearing a t-shirt just because I thought it'd be quite cool to create that natural look. But then I, I decided, I don't know, it just looked a bit, it just looked a bit shit really. So I changed it up and put a pink t-shirt on, it's like kind of a salmon colour, uh, which works really nicely with the pinks of the actual flowers. So it all tied in quite nicely. I didn't really want this shot to be like, bang, here's my face. I wanted it to just be kind of like, I wanted this shot to be quite subtle, quite muted, quite delicate and still quite minimalistic like the other shots have been. The thing is with these shoots is you've got to be a little bit experimental and see what works and what doesn't. I tried different angles, I tried actually putting the camera above me as I lay down in the bath. That didn't work, I just looked like I was kind of drowning in flowers and I'm not sure that was the vibe I was after. But keeping it simple sometimes is actually really nice and it proves in these shots that it does work. If if you guys are interested in a video where I discuss how I pose for photos and how guys should pose in photos then then leave a massive like on this video so I know to make more content like this and here are the final photos for the final shoot I'm I mean I've outdone myself I really have this is again something a little bit different for my Instagram feed I don't usually go for the muted sort of colors mine are just sort of beige beige sort of orangey tones with slightly harsher darker contrasting pics as well but this would change my instagram up quite nicely as we come into springtime if you want a video where you can see me actually edit these photos then let me know in the comments below so it's because everybody's editing is very different and it's all kind of down to preference so if you'd find that interesting then let me know but that is it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it i enjoyed making it and yeah I mean, I've just spent the day being extremely vain, taking photos of myself. I didn't realize how much I enjoyed. Who knew? But thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a massive like down below. Subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you very soon for another video. Peace.